Judge, and welcome to another edition of UWO Clash of Smash. This is episode 26, and like I say, this is going to be one hell of an episode. I don't know what is going to go down, but wait, hold on a second. Here comes Cat's Woman. Well, recently on UWO Clash of Smash, episode number 25. Catwoman in the game declared that they are going to take over UWO. I don't know how they're going to do it, but we've seen what Bane did to the Punisher. Actually, that was Bane and Catwoman. Catwoman made the purse automatic, and it ran off a cliff for God's sakes. Uh, th th that's just despicable in all terms. Something has to be do about these two. I don't know what, but later on tonight, in our main event, it's gonna be Tiny Tommy vs. Seti versus Bane. It's time for Seti loses, he's out of the Survivor match. Not that Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld doesn't want time for Seti to be champion by a long shot. But anyway, let's see what Catwoman has to say. This beast, Bane. Uh, Bane is an is, is a destruction force walking towards a hallway. I don't know what I just said, but I think you know what I mean. You know, a force. Say like you drew like a. Say like the hallway was like six feet wide, and you had a, like a five foot boulder rolling past it. You think anyone's going to get by it? Hell no. Uh, see, that's what I meant. But anyway. I don't know what he's coming out for. He doesn't say anything for anything. I don't know why he's out here for to prove his presence. Anyway, let's see what Catwoman further has to say. Wait a second. That's time for Seti's team. Yes, it is. It's time for Seti. Time for Seti had enough cat women vomiting her words. Let's see what Time for Seti has to say. Time to say, make a statement right there. We'll be right back.
for the gamers, Detroit Euro Chickens and the Angry German team. Anyway, Detroit is going to be facing this guy, David Hasselhoff. Well, Hasselhoff has made a huge staple in the UWO as a great. I mean, the team with the fans, he's thrown in it and his eye during that matchup. Things hasn't been going great for Hasselhoff, to say the least. Will as a proof the UWF fans room that he belongs in the feelings. Well, you might find out in a few moments. And it is for a custom championship from parts unknown. Here comes the UWO Rising Star Champion Kurt. Kurt successfully when defending that belt against Michael Jackson. Who mysteriously turned it into a werewolf. I don't know how he did it, but we do know that a lightning bolt struck him. That was just, it's just weird. Now, we have no idea where Michael Jackson is, but I heard he's walking around someplace. Oh, we have no control of him. We have like a, we have some animal security after him. It turns out he was one of the animal security guards. You don't want to see players. Anyway, the real story is going to be Detroit versus David Hasselhoff in a non-title matchup. You say this is going to be one pick of them over the state of East. Here we go, this match is underway. The bell has sounded. These two, two guys just sizing each other up. What's this? Uh, Kreutz. I'm not sure this is a good idea. I mean, you're a kid and he's a, he's like 47 years old. I don't know how old he is. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Crate showing some strength. Oh, has the off. Taking the easy way out and kicking Crate in the midsection. That was the very fair, but that was very smart of Hasselhoff. Now Hasselhoff in control of this matchup here. What's Hasselhoff looking for? You're doing here. Over the head, belly to belly suplex. Very impressive there by Hasselhoff. Um, very nice maneuver early into this matchup here. You now Hasselhoff sending Kreutz up. Nice punch in the face. Kreutz gonna feel that one in the morning. As it leads to the gut. This could be it. Ref making a pin, making a count. Oh no. Kreutz able to get that shoulder up. The resilience of Kreutz. He will not back down. He will not quit. He will not surrender. I know that was corny, but yeah, 